Hey guys, and welcome to our 2018 Oscar special. Wow. My name is Scott Ellis. I'm joined here by Tim McGavick. I feel like it was just yesterday we did 2017 Oscars. <laughs> I barely remember it. <laughs> so genuine. Vividly in my mind. Also joining us is Adam Frady. Just happy the whole gang's back together. Yeah. Ready for the biggest we're, night of the year. We're all here. Uh, so Christmas. basically this episode, we're just doing a little recap of the Oscars. Literally just finished. So it's fresh in our minds. So we're going to go through some categories. Right it's late. It's late. Okay. Um, let's. We're going to start off at the bottom. Yeah. And work our way up. Genius. There's a couple that we probably don't need to talk about. But maybe we should talk about... Visual effects. Yes. Mm. So, the winner was Blade Runner twenty forty nine for visual effects. Yes. What do you guys think about this category? Also nominated: Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume Two, Kong Skull Island, Star Wars: Last Jedi, and War for the Planet of the Apes. Mm. What do you guys think about this category? During our uh, predictions episode, I guess you could call it, I predicted War for the Planet of the Apes would win mm-hmm. because. Like ninety eight percent percent of that cast is just like not real, not real. It Literally, makes you feel. Caesar makes me feel so hard. Mm. Um, so that's what I picked today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you heard me. <laughs> makes you feel hard, bud. Um, me too. But yeah, I'm I'm thrilled that Blade Runner won something. <clears throat> I love Blade Runner. Yeah, I'm glad it won. We all do. I didn't pick it, but <clears throat> what do you think, Adam? Is this yeah you happy with this? I'm just thrilled. I don't know, like, uh, War easily could have won. I think it even probably deserved to win. But I, I'm i just so happy Blade Runner won something. <laughs> I love that Blade Runner won, honestly. I'm, it's my favorite I'm movie so happy. of the year. Yeah. It's all of our favorite movies of the year. I'm yeah. sure. um, film editing, Dunkirk yeah. won there. Perfect. That's, I mean, I could totally see that. Um, I mean, Baby Driver for me, I thought the editing Not was, a shot. I mean, it's Edgar Wright. It's won uh, Best Editing so far this year at other award shows. Oh, really? Driver. Oh, yeah. Okay. That was my, like, second pick behind. I just went Dunkirk because, like I said, the story. Yeah, because really... the editing is so integral to the actual story. I think it just... That's probably what gave it the edge. Very inventive. Yeah. Very but Baby Driver is, like... I was surprised. Like, Baby Driver got a lot of nominations, like, for a movie that I two? forgot about. Was it two? Two. Four, I think. Oh, sound editing. Shit. Three, maybe. Three, three or four. Which is three or four more than I expected. For all the like technical ones, movie. the technical yeah. ones, really. Pretty impressive. Pretty good. Now, as well, production design, um, <laughs> similar. <laughs> I thought Blade Runner was going to win this. I thought it was a, it was in the bag. That's why I, I picked Blade Runner. But The Shape of Water won. What do you guys think about this category? Adam, how do you feel about this? I think that uh, Blade Runner had one of the best production designs of all time. I think... Anyone would say, yeah. you could argue it's the best thing about the movie. So if you're not going to give this to Blade Runner, I find that, like, what are you going to give it to? Dunkirk would be the next level one. Oh, for me. that's right. Excuse yeah. me, Tim. <laughs> Dunkirk was the, literally insane. The movie yeah. that used actual sunk actual ships and flew Spitfires and. I remember thinking like, wow, Dunkirk would win any other year if not for Blade Runner. Fuck me. Shape of, shape of water, shape of which water. looks great. Like the, the lab, like the laboratory. It set does looks look great, great, but but in a year when you have Dunkirk and Blade Runner, yeah, insane. Are you kidding me? Yeah, just, shocking. But at least we got in the next category: cinematography. Oh, I was so worried. The goat. I knew in my heart that Deacons yeah. was gonna win. You know, it it was time. And it was time. Was he on something? <laughs> I think he was just, just, he's just he's just a rock star he's just, man. He yeah he, he's just living the rock star, rock star lifestyle Cloud whatever man. is what he was on I'm so happy that it that it won absolutely uh, gorgeous those two it gave me the feeling like when Leo like when they were announcing best actor and I was like somehow Leo's not gonna win like I was terrified yeah, I was like, right? right I was like yeah. it's gonna be fast your heart was gonna get broken oh, there oh, yeah. I'm so happy you won Kirk. finally guys done some of the best looking films of all time. One for some of your favorite films. films. Some of my favorite films. Two in the same year. <laughs> Two in the same year. Uh, costume design. We got Phantom Thread one there. To me, that's not much of a surprise. Um, that was my pick. I had picked uh, Shape of Water. Good logic. Fish though. costume. Which is, in fact, considered a costume? or a They visual? showed it. I guess. They, they showed it. I guess, I guess it is. So. I did not win. I can tell you that. I mean, but all the dresses and yeah, everything. I mean, it's... Yeah. Seems like a classic. That was just my bad. 
Makeup and hairstyling, Darkest Hour. I think everyone thought that was pretty straightforward win yeah. there. For Best makeup ever. Best old makeup ever. <laughs> for Vincent Churchill there. Yeah. Um, sound mixing, sound editing, Dunkirk won for both of those, yeah. which is pretty cool. Yeah. The actual like, rattle of like the Spitfire and stuff going. That was a good call. When oh. you pointed that out, I was like, yeah. Now, we saw this movie, Dunkirk, in IMAX. Oh, shit. Yeah. I mean, did that not sound not blow your mind? The engine... Mm-hmm. Like screaming almost. when the Spitfires are like dive bombing. Are you kidding me? And like the sound of the wood breaking apart when they yeah. shoot the mole. Yes, yeah. it really, it really put you there. Yeah, really. Yeah. Uh, original song. We got "Remember Me" from Coco. Now, this was a weird one. <laughs> How so? What? Because the live performances were all not good. <laughs> It was really weak. It was probably the worst live performance. And so. every time the songs like, were all good, like, like they're, in yeah. the movies. Yes, when I when they did like the little like quick before they actually announced it, I'm like, oh, these are actually all really good songs. Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the performances this year were, were quite quite weak. I thought great song, but brought me to tears. That's what I picked. Uh, original score, Dunkirk. Actually, sorry, Shape no, of Water. No, sorry, sorry, yeah. Uh, Freudian slip. You win. Whoa! <laughs> no, I I picked Dunkirk to win, yeah. but it was Shape of Water that won that. Um, very haunting score. Yeah. I do like it. Yeah, it's good. Um, True. It's haunting. <laughs> Quite. I thought you were talking about Dunkirk at first. I was like, yeah. Foreign oh, language film, funny. A Fantastic Woman one. I didn't see any none of us here. have seen it. Yeah, so. literally nothing, any... <laughs> virtually nothing to say about yeah. that. <laughs> Honestly, it, it just makes me want to see that movie. Like, it's like, oh, this one best foreign feature. Well, I guess I better watch it. Yeah. Um, documentary Icarus one. Again, I don't think you guys watched any of the documentaries. No. Um, what are we doing on this podcast? I know. Go. <laughs> are we both Tyler? Let's yeah. go. Yeah, well, I've seen Icarus, okay. and I'm happy it won because it's very good. Um, it's animated feature, we got Coco. Oof. Pretty I mean, easy. Pretty easy call. Pixar, <laughs> the goat. I mean, yeah. it was a pretty weak year. It was. When Boss Baby and Fernand <sighs> are nominated. Yeah, I feel like no one's shitting on Ferdinand enough. Because Boss Baby is like the obvious target of the hatred, mm-hmm. but like let's not forget, Ferdinand looked pretty bad, and that's John also Cena. Weird. John Cena, John Cena. Cena. Yeah. You can see him evidently oh, as a bull. <laughs> a <laughs> thespian. Jesus Christ. I'm pretty happy, Coco. Yeah, I mean, shit. it was the only. It was the really the only choice here. It's probably um, literally my favorite animated movie, movie th- last year. Although Loving Vincent looked great. Did look great. Didn't it's good. It, yes. Yeah. Next, yeah. we Very got okay. some screenplay. Awards Ooh. adapted. We got Call Me by Your Name. Mm-hmm. I think this was the favorite in that yeah. category. That's um, though. Big shout out to Molly's Game as well. I thought that was such a great screenplay. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! That's what my fiance Aaron Sorkin is doing. Yeah. Aaron Sorkin. I mean, Aaron uh, Sorkin. Now, original screenplay though, I feel like was a little bit of a tighter race. Kind yeah. of a wild card. Mm-hmm. We had The Big Sick, Get Out, Lady Bird, Shape of Water, and Three Billboards. All very original, very unique. And we had Get Out win. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think about this? I did pick it in the in our little voting Really? Oh, yeah. Get Out? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Get Out. Yeah. Because, no, I'll stay. <laughs> uh, I have to. I'll be here all week. Uh, Jordan Peele won Best Writing, I think, last night at the Indie Spirit Awards. That Kind of tipped me off. I was just like, yeah, super original concept. I just loved how he wrote it. I just thought it was... You saw three billboards though, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. I did think about switching to Marty. To Marty. Yeah, Marty McDonough. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just... I like... I think Get Out deserved it. It was just the most original. Like, three billboards, well written. Not necessarily, like, an original movie. It's not... The like award unique, isn't like... I should say. The award for the most unique screenplay. It's like the, best, the best original screenplay. Well, you know what I, mean? I would like, say Get Out was the most original screenplay. That's that's great, but, but that's not what it's a award. It's, yeah. it's for the right. best screenplay that is also original. Yeah. But yeah, but I think that goes into it. Yeah, I think that would go into it. It's it's not best screenplay. It's best original screenplay. Like best adapted screenplay would be best screenplay. This is there, best there, there's original. definitely an element to it where it's. You know how original is it? Yeah, but at the same time, it has that. to be a good script too. Of it course. can't just be like, 
Well, no one's ever done this movie like like, like yeah. Human Centipede or something, you know. Yeah, exactly. no one's ever done that before. But it's not like that's very original. I'm not. I know. I'm just saying. Yeah. It's, I'm just. It's not black and white, but like right. I was saying. Obviously, you guys think Three Billboards was better. I assume better written. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I do. For sure. Yeah. I, I, and I think the shock think factor winning. also played into it. Like, excuse me, Jordan Peele, some Comedy Central guy. I think that. It's like yeah, I played in a, a juicy thing, right? Mm. It's like holy shit, like the shock factor, like the transformation kind of thing. So is that basically that's what it won, right? That's basically all it won. It won, yes, best original, just original yeah, screenplay. Yeah, yeah. Interesting, lots of nominations. Cool. So. You know what? I'm I'm glad it won something. Yeah, to be honest. Yeah, like besides, I I do think Three Billboards deserved it more personally, but I'm not mad that get a one. To be honest, I'm happy for it. Um, moving on, we got we're getting into the acting categories. We got actor in a supporting role. Sam Rockwell won. No Any surprise, surprise there? None. No. Guys no. picked up like every award. Yeah, he's literally batting. And he was great. Um, I love Willem Dafoe. Yeah, I would say Willem Dafoe Will, would be. And we got Christopher Plummer, Richard Jenkins, and Woody Harrelson also yeah. nominated. I loved Richard Jenkins in Shape of Water. I thought he was fantastic. It's your this boy, year. It's my boy. It's Honestly, my boy. like boy. I feel like. It was a pretty tight year, but for some reason Sam Rockwell just was in everyone's mind. Yeah. And even though I think the performances are are very like close, mm-hmm. but for some reason Sam Rockwell, I don't know what it was like. I think he was just the most interesting character of the group. Yeah. Like people are like shitting that he won, that, that he's been winning awards because his character is like so despicable because he's like a racist cop. But I'm like, the word's not like. Best likable performance. It's yeah. best performance. Like you, you hate this guy, but he has an arc. He's not a perfect human being at the end either. Like yeah. he's no. grown. I'm like, it's like the best character arc of the year. Yeah, yeah, I love him. And a lot of it rested on Sam Rockwell. I think. Oh yeah. Like he's not as likable as he is. He's one of the most charming guys on earth. Yeah. Like you don't buy that character. Yeah. You know. He just looks like a scum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If it was like he just looks scummy, but yet some charisma charming. vacuum actor, yeah, that well, just... Goggins or something, <laughs> <laughs> or someone, yeah. someone who just yeah, it does the whole movie would fall apart, right? Yeah. yeah. Moving on, we got actress in a supporting role. Allison Janney wins mm. for Itonia. Any, any surprises well. there? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought no I thought she was the front runner for yeah. Sure. She was really really good. You really see the how good her performance is when you see her acceptance speech, I find. Like, at any of the awards leading up to this, including She's so this. different. She's so different. She's, like, yeah. this bubbly, funny, you know, well-put-together person. <laughs> Played this despicable monster <laughs> in this movie to, like, perfection. It made me, like, think that she was a mean person. The Academy loves transformations. They do. Shout out to the bird. Moving on, this... This one... Probably the least amount of surprise here. Yeah. Gary Oldman wins for Best Actor in a Leading Role for Darkest Hour. Correct. Playing Winston Churchill. Again, transformation. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Not much to say. Yeah. I mean, come on. Like, he was going to win. Yeah. Like, no there's no it's like rock competition rock. here. You know? Yeah. I mean, Daniel Day-Lewis is obviously fantastic, but... Go. I don't, yeah. No. It, it was a lot this Timothy year. Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet. People were Loved pushing him. for him. Yeah. Loved him and <clears throat> called him by your name. Yeah. Moving on. Not good enough. We got an actress in a leading role. No surprise. Either. No surprise here. Well, no surprise. maybe. Frances McDormand wins. Yeah. Great speech. She might win an Emmy. <laughs> um, Pretty memorable. Personally, I thought it, it was sort of a... A two woman race with her and Sally Hawkins, personally. No, sir. I would have loved to sell if Sally Hawkins won. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was two horse race between Saoirse Ronan and. Are you Princess. serious? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I thought Saoirse was amazing. I, I didn't. I thought she was great, but not on those. On that level? Yeah. That's true. I guess Sally Hawkins. Well, no, because. She didn't even speak. Yeah, that's true. And I don't know. I just thought she was great. Especially because I think Shape of Water was riding that wave, if yeah. you will. Oh, no! I think I know what you did there. You know what I mean, though. Like, yeah, it's I don't know. 
Lady Bird didn't really have any steam any, behind yeah. it. Yeah. Like, did it win anything? Yeah, didn't win anything. Mm. But, Ouch. So, I don't know. I just thought yeah. Sally Hawkins was, was yeah. the other. She so. was so, so good in that movie. So much well, one life. best picture, and she is essentially like the anchor of the movie. Yeah, right. So by that logic, that does make yeah. sense, yeah. Meryl Streep, I think, got the... Uh, <laughs> The Into what's the, the Woods award? award? Yeah. What's the word for that? The uh, Meryl Streep uh, nomination. And Marco Robbie yeah. was fantastic. Margot was so good. I gotta see that movie because that brief, like, 20 seconds they showed of her in, in the courtroom is pretty great. I feel like in other years she might have won. Yeah. Based on the competition, Margot might have won, but. When I saw that scene, tough year. I was like, holy fuck, is she gonna win? <laughs> yeah. Like, I literally, she, like, had me sold that yeah. she could win. Moving on, we got two more categories. We're almost done here. Best director, mm. Guillermo del Toro wins Gee, for Shape of Water. I'm so happy that he yeah. won. You know, he he's made some duds. Huh? He's made some rough ones. He's sold, sold out a bit. And uh, you know, I'm just glad that, especially for this kind of film. Yeah. You know, it's like a horror love story. It was very Guillermo sci-fi, del Toro. bizarre. What are you guys' thoughts on this? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, I love Shape of Water. And I think he did a pretty... Like, I think the reason he won is getting you to care about a relationship between a human and a monster is, like, pretty pretty impressive, right? Like, the horror thing of, like, oh, my God, you actually care about a relationship between Joaquin and a computer. Yeah. It's, like, that type of thing. It takes a skillful director to achieve that yeah. yeah and the performances were great like he got two oscar nominated performances out of it also and it was just like guillermo going back to his roots yeah it, it just you know yeah like this like original i mean he does original stuff but like this is just so original to like him like it feels yeah, it like is. like it's clearly a guillermo de Tower movie it's mm-hmm. very not like hellboy pacific rim right yeah it's, it's very pan's labyrinth side or even crimson peak which isn't great, but it's yeah. more him being himself. Yeah. So I'm while, while we're on the topic, Uh-oh. best picture. The big mama. Now, you guys thought... I, was I had three three billboards down on my sheet. My I did ballot. as well. I did as well. We got fucked. Well, this, I had The have? Shape of Water on mine. Oh! And that's what won. Splish Splash. Um, pretty <laughs> much. It's my new catchphrase for 2018. Splish Splash. Splish Splash. <laughs> Shape of Water. Uh, every Best Picture winner, I'm going to make a catchphrase. Again, I'm just so happy for Guillermo that, like, he, to win Best Director and then Best Picture. Oh, I mean, those yeah, Coke that's great. Classes, though. Yeah, that's just great. They were, they were thick. Stupid thick. And it's pretty cool, like, considering a movie like that that we saw uh, at TIFF. Yeah, way back Like, then. in the oh, same shit. theater where they shot a scene in the movie and I don't know it just I don't know it's just awesome yeah. it's just awesome for a movie like this to win yeah it's a very odd movie Nuts. to win Best Picture <laughs> it's bizarre very odd when, like, years where you yeah. have like not that Dunkirk's a bad movie but like war dramas and period pieces and like social commentary movies you get like this horror noir love story that you just blew my mind. It's so true. So <laughs> bizarre. Bizarre. Like how many like it feels like we should be sitting here talking about a Dunkirk or something yeah. like that being or like you know even a darkest hour or something <laughs> yeah. just being like oh of course they had to pick this because it's yeah, like a spotlight PC. one yeah like a spotlight great movie it, very good. <laughs> but it's just weird that they actually pick Shape of Water I know it's impressive yeah it feels more like a, one of the Birdman like a Birdman year where Birdman won yeah where it's like holy shit they picked this like yeah weird they movie the, yeah <laughs> an actual weird movie which is pretty sweet love it pretty awesome it's a five Michael Shannon best picture winning <clears throat> actor now pretty dope it's true yeah overall I think this year was I thought it was quite predictable to be honest yeah not, yeah. not a lot of surprises um there wasn't was there any real big surprises besides for me personally production design that's the only yes yeah 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 Blade Runner not so winning infuriating yeah. surprise but beyond that is there anything else you guys thought was actually surprising no award wise no that's that's Jimmy Kimmel didn't fuck up <laughs> surprising yeah. yeah the actual Oscars like as a show was fine 
Nothing yeah. too outrageous. I thought Kimmel was funny. Yeah, yeah. Like he's, always, he's, he's, he's always good, yeah. Which is no easy task. Like, most people get eviscerated. Trying I don't to remember. I don't even remember the opening at all. They're usually pretty mem- uh, mem- uh, memorable, but... What was it? What I think it was just clips. It was just clips of, like, movies, right? Sets of music. The, like, black and white old style. That's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And there was, yeah. like, someone talking right. in yeah. that old-timey voice. Yeah. yeah. That's what but it was, it was live. A, it was funny. I think. It was yeah. Funny. yeah. Well, it literally tricked me when Army Hammer came on screen. And they're like, and there's Army Hammer. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Like, I thought it was showing, like, stock footage from, like, the 40s or something. They got, like, the guy from the Hollywood backlot on di- from Disney to, like, <laughs> <laughs> do the voiceover. Like, they got that yeah. classic, like, Hollywood announcer voice guy. Um, yeah, I just think that they they can cut it down a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, like, it, too many songs. Like that four hours. Years. Yeah, I, it's the songs that drag it out. That's like twenty five yeah. minutes that you could just cut. Yeah, out. Um, well, overall, I do think it was a su- successful year. Yeah. Pretty good year. Um, it was good. I five banged a bunch. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Five you flying. Did. Got F five bang three, I think. Oof. Well, if you guys enjoy this video, leave a like on it. Leave a comment below in the comment section if you want to join our discussion about the Oscars. And, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And, Tim, where can people find us as well? Uh, people can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Up Real Late and Up Real Late Podcast. Um, and you can Facebook, find me. Twitter. Facebook and Instagram is Up Real Late Podcast. Yes. Twitter is Up Real Late. And you can find me personally on Letterboxd at Up Real Tim. You can find me on Twitter at Franny25 and Instagram at letterbox.upreeladam. You can find myself, Scott, at uh, letterbox.upreelscott. And yeah, guys, keep it real.